with rectifications, we lose half of the energy or half of the current, right? Because half of the current has been cut off uh, by the diode. So uh, that is not a very good... Uh, even though we successfully to convert uh, alternating currents to direct currents, okay? But that is not a very good method, right? Because we lose half of the energy, okay? So uh, we are not satisfied with that, okay? So then we change a little bit on the design and I try to keep all the currents, eh? all the currents in the circuit. And then we come up with these things. Okay, we come up with these things. And this is called rectification bridge. Okay, a rectifier bridge. Okay, so a rectifier bridge. Uh, this rectifier bridge, it, uh, this bridge, it consists of a four diode. So you can see that there's a four diode here. Let's see, yeah. Let's see what will happen to the currents eh, when the currents pass through uh, this four diode. Okay. Now first, this alternating current supply, right? Okay. First, let's say is uh, clockwise. Okay. Clockwise, eh? So clockwise, the current flow up, go to the left. Uh, sorry, go to the right. Go to the right. Go down. Okay. So now. It come to junction here, okay, or the first branch here. So it can either go to the left or go to the right, okay. So what do you all think? It will go to the left or go to the right? Yes, okay, yes, it will go to the right. Why? Because going to the right is forward bias and going to the left is reverse bias, okay. Reverse bias, uh, the currents cannot pass through, okay. So it will go to the right, okay. It will go to the right, pass through the diode, to the right again. Go down and then go to the left. Okay, okay, and go up. Okay, now I will explain to you what is this. Okay, so uh, in the circuit, okay, if we draw, if we draw something like this, okay, then it means that this wire is connected to this wire, connected to this wire, and connected to this wire. Okay, it's connected to all three wire. But if we draw a small curve here, it's uh, it indicates that this wire is not connected to this too. These two just uh, uh, move over, okay, over this wire, and it's not connected to this wire. So, so the currents cannot go here, okay, because it's not connected. So it will go up. Okay, now it come to the second uh, junction, so second branch here, okay. So it can either go up or go down. So what do you all think? Do you all think it will go up or go down? Okay, now let me tell you the answer, okay. Uh, it will go down. It will go down. Reason is the current flow from a higher potential to a lower potential. Let's say initially this is two volt. The potential two volt, two volt, two volt here. Okay, two volt. Okay. Now after passes through the uh, resistor, the potential will drop to zero volt, zero volt, zero volt, zero volt. Uh, here also zero volt. Eh? Zero volt, zero volt, zero volt. When you go to this part of this path okay is zero volt and if you go up okay it will go to a two volt but as I told you just now the currents move from higher potential to lower potential so zero volt cannot go to two volt because here the potential is higher than here so it cannot go up okay it can only go down and back to this alternating current source so that is the flow of the currents uh, when it's uh, forward bias okay when it's forward bias, let me erase this. Okay, so and then it go here, go here, and go here. Okay, now if you draw the graph, okay, or you or if you connect this to the cathode ray oscilloscope, eh, you connect this to a CRO, eh, you will get something like this. Okay, you get something like this. The current increase, decrease. Okay, increase, decrease. Eh? If the cathode ray oscilloscope connect here, because uh, it flow uh, clockwise, uh, the current increase, decrease, uh, you get something like this. Okay, then when the current move backwards, anti-clockwise, anti-clockwise. Uh, uh, let me use another color for this huh, to show the difference. Okay, so anti-clockwise, the current go down. Uh, the current go down, and so we'll go here, go here. 
go here, go here. Okay, now up to this point, it will go to the right or left. Right means it go up, left means it go here, okay? Right, huh? it will go to the right. Huh? It move to the right. Why? Because it's forward bias. Huh? It's forward bias. Forward bias. Okay, forward bias. Okay, forward bias. When it come to this point, it will go up or go down. Yes? When it come to this point, it will go up. Why? Because go down, then it will go back to the higher potential, right? Okay? So it must go up. Huh? It cannot go back to the initial path because the initial path, the potential is higher. Okay? So it must go up. So it go to the, go up, okay? Okay, back to the alternating current source, right? Okay. Let's see. Here, you can see that the currents move in uh, two directions, right? Here move forward, here move backward. Uh. Here also, uh, backward, forward, uh, okay? But, how about this area? From this point onwards to this. So, you, we can see that the currents move in the same directions, right? Whether it move forward or it move backwards, clockwise or anti-clockwise, the current here always move in the same directions. Okay? You see the blue one. The blue one, okay, clockwise. The orange one is also clockwise. Eh? So the current here move in one direction. If you connect this to a cathode ray oscilloscope, you will find that the current is like this. Okay, so you see. The currents always move in the same direction here. So, means that this rectifier bridge successfully converts alternating currents to direct current. So now it's a direct current because the current always flow in one direction. And then, you see no current loose in the process. Unlike uh, this half wave rectification, 50% of the energy loose to the, okay? This one, no energy loose. 100% of the currents remained in the circuit. Okay? And we call this full wave rectifications. Okay? By using this rectifier bridge, eh, we can do full wave rectifications where we change alternating currents to direct currents. Okay? All the current here is a direct currents. Okay? It's a direct currents. And then some no, no uh, currents loose in the circuit. So this is a full wave rectification. Okay. And again, it's not steady. Increase, decrease, increase, decrease. Uh, okay. So if you want to make it steady, then you connect a capacitor. Connect a capacitor parallel to the, uh, this resistor. Now this resistor usually is representing a bulb or something like that. Okay. A bulb or any electrical appliances. Uh. So connect a capacitor, then you can make it smooth. Eh? Okay, you can make it smooth and uh, it will be uh, something like this. So the currents will be something like this. Uh, let's erase the previous one, okay? So after connected to the capacitor, then you have a smooth, steady current. So this is full wave rectifications. So, uh, so by using this uh, rectifier bridge, uh, uh, we can convert alternating currents to direct current and no energy loss to the surrounding and you will get something like this, uh, full wave rectifications. Okay, uh, another way to do full wave rectification is by using a transformer uh, with two diode. Two diode, uh. okay, it's like this. Uh, now for this uh, bridge rectifier, you need to know how to draw this, okay? Because in exam, they may leave this blank and then they would like you to draw this, eh? okay? So you, you must know how to draw this. Eh? So for example, so they may give you something like this. So they say, okay, okay. So complete the circuit, okay? To show uh, how a full wave rectifications can be done. Mm -hmm. Uh, then you have to draw. You have to draw the bridge rectifier here. You have to draw the bridge rectifier here. So how to draw? Okay. So first, okay, we go down here, and then uh, it's split. Okay, it's split. Eh? Now you can draw either the two arrow eh, pointing downwards or the two arrow pointing upwards. 
Okay, so that's how we draw. Okay, buff also go down or buff go. No, 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 no. It's not go down. Okay, sorry, sorry. I think I went wrongly. Okay, so uh, we start from here. Okay, we start from here. Buff pointing out. Okay, and then buff pointing in. Okay, this two point out. This two point in. Okay, so then so we draw. Uh, then you can you can draw a circle. Okay. The circle okay uh, then we complete the circuit this one go up it go here okay after go here then it will go to the capacitor let's erase this a little bit here okay uh, let's erase this uh, okay. the connection is not correct um so we go to the center okay so you see from the center here go to the center okay then after that it come out from here and draw a small curve here and go in so that's that's how we draw uh, the bridge rectifier here. Okay, how to draw the bridge rectifier here? Because in the exam they may ask you to draw this, uh, so make sure that you know how to draw this uh, and try to practice. Take out a piece of paper and try to practice uh, on how to draw this. Um, Sometimes, okay, you may also ask to draw this. Okay, so if you have a transformer, this is a transformer. Then you only need two diode, uh, two diode. Okay, so one up. One down. Let's say when it's clockwise, uh, this is positive, this is negative, clockwise, okay? So the current flow here, go here, go here, then it will go here because uh, here is reverse bias, uh, so the current won't go, okay? So it go here and then go down, okay? And up to this point, okay, the current will go to the earth. Huh? The current will go to the earth. Or, or if, if we, you don't have this, then the current will go up, okay? But if you have the earth here, then it will go to the earth, okay? So, uh, see, the current here, it moves downwards, okay? Move downwards. And then, uh, when it moves uh, in the opposite directions, counterclockwise, okay? Now, counterclockwise, this is positive, this is negative, okay? And uh, this is also positive, okay? Okay, positive. Maybe this is 2 volt, this is 1 volt, and this is 0 volt, eh? Okay, 0 volt. And current moves from higher potential to lower potential. Higher potential to lower potential. Oh, sorry, sorry. I think I draw it wrongly. Counterclockwise, okay. Counterclockwise means that uh, this is positive, this is negative, okay. So maybe this here two volt, here one volt, here zero volt, eh? here zero volt, okay. So uh, the current will move here, okay. It go here, go here, go here. Now up to this point, it will go to the left. Why? Because go up is reverse bias, eh? so it won't go up. So and then you go down and move to the earth. Go to the earth. So you see whether it's uh, clockwise or anti-clockwise here, the currents always flows in the same directions, right? Okay, always flow in the same directions. And therefore you will get a full wave rectifications. So that is another design to do the full wave rectifications. The first one is a bridge rectifier with four diode. Uh, this one bridge rectifier with four diode and the second one is uh, a transformer with two diode okay both of these can do uh, full wave rectifications okay uh, both cases uh, you must know the directions of the current the flows of the currents uh, uh, through the whole circuit you must know how it flow okay you must know how it flow uh, especially this one okay you must know how the current flow Okay, the currents here come here and then it'll go down here and then go to the resistor and go down. Okay, let me show you it again, okay? So you must know that the current flow here go down. Okay. Okay. And then it move back. Move back. Okay, go up. So um you must know how it flow. Okay, because in the exam this may be us, huh? This may be us. And you need to know that from this point to this point is direct current. But for the other parts of the circuit is still alternating currents. Eh? The current moves backward, forward. Eh? But from this point to this point is uh, direct, direct current. Okay.